Okay, so you just take the points in and... Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was not what I expected. Get ready for an insanely delicious burger with teriyaki, pineapple, and some other great shit you're gonna love. And we'll start by making teriyaki sauce. Yes, of course you can buy it. There's a lot out there. I'm just gonna tell you, if you do buy it, buy a, a thicker one. Those thin water-like ones suck and I hate them. So we're gonna make a thick one and you're gonna like it and it's about six or seven ingredients. And Okay, so we start with about a cup of water and it's simmering now. We're gonna add a quarter cup of brown sugar, like that. A quarter cup of soy sauce, a tablespoon of honey, a big fat clove of garlic, about a half a teaspoon of fresh ginger, minced, and we mix. The smell is already amazing. But remember I said I don't want watery teriyaki sauce. So now we're gonna mix a couple tablespoons of cornstarch with a quarter cup of water. And then we'll mix that and add that to the pot. And we mix. And over the next few minutes of that liquid simmering, it's gonna thicken and get gorgeous. Check this out. So now just after a little bit, look, that's what you want. That's teriyaki sauce. That's not teriyaki water. How can those people that make that thin stuff even feel good about themselves? It's gorgeous. And it smells amazing. And look, after just a couple of minutes, and after just even a minute, it's starting to thicken beautifully. So we're just gonna let that do its thing right there, and we'll turn our attention to some mushrooms, because we can. Okay, so to our little pan, we'll add a little avocado oil and some butter. And by the way, I'm using the high heat spatula that my dog Summer decided to take a huge ass bite out of. So it makes me wonder, um, have your dogs eaten anything? I, I don't, I mean, apart from like food off the counter, Summer's the first dog that has eaten a completely inanimate kitchen object. Let me know, comment. What have your dogs eaten? I'd say dogs and cats, but cats don't do shit. They just sit around and show up when they want attention. Kind of like my mother-in-law. <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> Patsy, I'm only kidding. God, I hope she doesn't see that. Because I really am only kidding. I adore her. Let's go butter in. Butter. Yum. And now mushrooms. And those are cremini mushrooms, essentially baby portobellos. These guys just need to start softening. We'll season them as they get there, but right now, their whole job is just to sit in this pan and soften up. Okay, burger time. So this is a half pound of 80-20. Uh, Told you before, 80% lean, 20% fat. That means flavor. We want that. You're welcome to use some lesser fat combination, but you won't be happy and it's not gonna be that, that good. So do what I say starting with adding what we need to add to this. So we add some diced green onion, not too much. Some more fresh garlic, some more of the fresh ginger, kosher salt and pepper, and last, but certainly not least, a baby splash of soy. Boop, that's it. And then we mix. The soy is gonna add incredible flavor and what is known in the food world as umami. It's the, wait, how many senses are there? Six. Are there? Five. Five? I don't fucking know. Ta wait, so there's, okay. there's five senses. Taste, smell, touch. Wait, what does, um, does what? umami have to do with the senses? Or do I mean senses? No, do I mean flavors? What do I mean? Flavors. flavors. What is there? There's <laughs> the sense of what? Salt? It. Look, adding a little soy adds that one thing that just is extra. Sense here. I didn't mean senses. I didn't mean fucking senses. Shit. Okay, look, just make a fucking burger. Once you've got it, get your little patty. Beautiful. Look how nice that is. This is going to be unbelievable. And when it's ready, it's just going to sit here. Well, that's a fat burger, man. Look at that is going to be one big ass burger, a delicious big ass burger.
But before we throw it on the grill, we gotta prep our pineapple. I did say pineapple. Teriyaki, burger, pineapple, whatever. You're gonna like this part. Pineapple. So, um, there's all kinds of things you can do with a pineapple. We're gonna make rings out of it. Because they look cool and they're nice. So here's how I prep a pineapple. I grab this top part. Oh, and by the way, while I'm here, uh, pineapple is generally ready when you can pull one of these guys out. <laughs> which, I, which a fucking piece of shit. Never mind. One came out earlier. So I grab the, what do you call this part? The top? And the, and the pineapple, and I twist in opposite directions like this. There you go. So this you just put in your cup and leave to do something with later. And now the pineapple happens like this. So I'm going to cut the top off and the bottom. And now I'm going to take the sides off with my knife like this. And look, if I wanted to be all super fancy, I could take these points off and kind of round it out a little bit, but I don't want to do that. But I said I wanted to make rings, and here's the problem. To make rings, you've got to get rid of this center. Which, I mean, how are you going to do that? I mean, you, there are things that they, they sell that just grind in there and pull out the middle. Uh, I don't have one of those. And I was thinking about it today, and I thought, oh, I'll buy one. And I thought, I've got something that can take out the middle that I think will work just as well. My drill. I mean, why can't this work? I mean, it's about the right amount I need to take out. It'll make a circle. Come on, let's find out if this works. Okay, so you just take the points in and... Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was not what I expected. Let me see if I can deal with this. Hold on. Nobody move. Ow, shit, fuck. God, what happened? Oh, I cut myself. How did I do that? Oh, well, it's bad enough. And now there's pineapple. All right, so worst idea I've ever had. I'm, look at, I took a really decent gash out of my finger. got something that can take the core out. Maybe I'll go slower. It's very simple. Let me try this other side. Give me a second, would you? I'm all better. There's a little bit of pineapple residual down here at my feet. I've mostly cleaned myself off, and I'm okay. I'm gonna live. There's a lesson in this. I'm not sure what the hell it is, but there's a lesson in this. But now we're ready <laughs> with the... It doesn't look perfect. When you see the burger made, this will look amazing. Look at... God. This January, Sam the Cooking Guy creates a pineapple disaster. Okay, pineapple goes on, burger goes on. Now I want to eat something. Let's go. Okay, so we give the grill a little spray. Make things relatively non-stick. First on goes the burger. My little friend. And next, our kind of jacked up pineapple. So our goal with the burger, of course, there's a lovely medium rare inside. Well, we're going to, you know, we're going to turn it a bit. Get it pretty. Cook it to where you want it, but don't overcook it, please. And the pineapple, we're looking for those beautiful stripes on there. We'll start adding some teriyaki sauce once we flip it. Okay, so while the burger and the pineapple are cooking, we make a little sauce for this. And it consists of the following. First, my beloved mayo. Japanese mayo if you're paying attention. Kewpie Japanese mayo if you're really paying attention, even though I said I wouldn't say that, but for new people, we'll stick a link in the description. A little sriracha and 
Remember, it's the teriyaki burger. We're going to take a little bit of our sauce and add it in here too. Just for extra flavor. And we mix. Oh, yum. So look, we're cooking the burger. Uh, we've got a bun. I'm going to butter this, get it crispy. You know that's what I like to do. I'm going to add some cheese. So look, that's going to come together nicely. Be fantastic. Me and my effed up thumb. That hurts, actually. And oh, look, I can see blood coming through the Band-Aid. Fabulous. Just great. And so, burger first. Look how beautiful. That's gorgeous. The stripes. Let's check this kit out. Oh boy. Please don't stick. Oh no, we're good. And that's it. Those stripes. That's what we want. And now that we flipped it, now we're going to give it a little of the teriyaki sauce. I know, if you've just tuned in, you're thinking, Sam, that's the most uneven pineapple round I've ever seen. And let's just say that's the way I like it. That's what I'm going with for today. And actually, we can give the burger a little teriyaki love as well. At this point, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to add cheese to the burger. We'll let it do its thing. We'll close up so it melts. We'll season the mushrooms, which we haven't done yet. And we'll put our bun on. My butter is cold. It won't spread because we're outside and it's cold. So butter on the flat top, then on there. And we are almost ready to build. Here we go. And look, come on, let's go. All right, so we start with sauce. A little bit more. Then some leaves. And some leaves, lovely. Then our burger. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, that's a burger, huh? Okay, now the pineapple. Sorry, I meant to say now goes the pain in the ass pineapple. And now our mushrooms, because why not? And last but not least, because texture is always important, a little handful of crispy fried onions. And then the lid. And we cut. Oh, look. That's what I wanted. Man, is this going to be good. And... At long last, at great expense, we get, to, we get to try this. Oh crap. Pineapple's hard to see, but it's there. The mushrooms, the crispy onions. Oh damn. All right, let me be 100% honest with you. This injury is worth it if this is what I got. There's a little bit of spice. From the sriracha. Beautiful teriyaki. Not too much. A little bit was in the sauce, a little on the pineapple, a little on the burger. It's moist, it's juicy, it's tender. It's a freaking mess, but it is so damn good. And the crispy onions add that little crunch that things need. So, what have we learned, my friend? We've learned that the DeWalt 20 volt max cordless drill is not the thing to core a pineapple with. Maybe buy one of those pineapple cores. Might be the smart thing to do. In any case, thanks for hanging out with us. Subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. And follow us on social media. I'm on Facebook. Who really uses Facebook anymore? But certainly Instagram and, and Twitter. But mostly Instagram, I post some stuff there. All right, see ya. Go eat something good.